What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Mancho Giovanni, and I'm joined by the wonderful, beautiful people here, Maya Sensei, A Valley, and we have a special guest, AKA Taka, Taka Nori, the big homie. You know how he comes through. He's a videographer out here in Tokyo, Japan. He shoots for a lot of different big artists out here. He's running it up, doing his own thing. And yeah, he decided to come out because he wanted to hear a little bit more about our new project, Hello, uh, which I produced featuring Milo and A Valley. And yeah, he just wanted to know a little bit more about it. So I invited him down and yeah, it's a blessing. Thank you for coming, man. Um, you know, I've been wanting to work with Milo Sensei for quite a while. And after you dropped his first project, um, you know, I, that was amazing. He came over and played it, came over to the house and played it at the stew. And we were all here, we were grooving. And it's the first time I heard his voice and I was like, oh my God, it's, it's beautiful, it's amazing and so diverse, um, you know, R&B to, you know, uh, modern house, to soul, to EDM, to, you know, and, you know, homie can sing in English and in Japanese pitch perfect fluently. So it, it was like, wow. So, so excited to get the chance to work with him. And uh, finally, uh, we had some time this year and the timing just worked out perfect. Um, where we we had an idea, I had an idea for a track, R and B, classic R and B, um, kind of a vibe, and I knew he would have the perfect. Uh, you know, he's a writer, songwriter too, so I also knew the melodies, and we could play a lot and collaborate and have fun with that. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Um, I don't know. Tell him what you know. What do you? How was your experience, Milo? So, I've been wanting to work with. Jovan and Aval for a while because like I worked with Miles on my project who also like obviously if, if y'all follow then you know they've made a lot of projects together like they're a unit so like I Hello, mean, MJ not, the Sensei yeah Miles is MJ you know, sorry, aka MJ the Sensei uh you know I really have loved all the stuff that they've come out with like all like Aval's flow and like Jovan's flow and the the way that they're like are so versatile in the way that they can sound like in different on different tracks. As an artist, you know, like I kind of take I kind of take the sound really seriously. So one of my favorite things about working with them was like being in the studio. I think I said this in like another interview that, you know, when I walk into the booth you know, I'm doing my thing. But then as soon as I'm out of the booth, I'm kind of like being a student a little bit because I mean, Javon is really, really talented <laughs> as a producer. And it's really cool to just kind of see him working. He works really, really fast. And I feel like I really like getting every like iteration of the song back, like sent to us while we were like going through it. And I would hear he added something in new and I just seem going like, huh, hey, who? Huh, or something. <laughs> I thought that was really dope. So um, I just love talented people. You know, I feel like I always want to be around people that have something that I don't. So I feel like in the collective of this, you know, DOS, uh, I feel very, you know, feel very good to be surrounded by talent. The beat was named Loudmouth. Like we, me and Maya, I think me and Maya, Maya uh, we live around the same ends, uh, east side of Tokyo, you know, uh, around the around the Sorry. side and the Osaka, Osaka Tabashis. Uh, yeah, so we were kicking it one day and we were going over uh, another track of ours produced also by the three of us. Y'all ain't getting no sneak peeks yet. Maybe later. Um, and we were like, yo, loud mouth. The beat, because the beat really speaks, it, it really, like, the title of the beat speaks for itself. So it's like, woo, yeah, we out here. We were like, how how do we still get that same message and like, uh, and put across that same vibe in a, in a more, like, subtle tone for the ear? And then, like, yeah, it's just, as I said before, hello. Well, that's dope. We sent it to Jovan, and Jovan was like, hey, Lara, what was your inspiration behind the promotion? Man, that's a good question. Um, inspiration behind this, I think uh, the, the, from the loop, the it started with like the intro synth loop that 
it's kind of had a classic like mm, this is a classic like kind of 90s uh house vibe like it just kind of had that groove r&b vibe um so i was like mm. and I, I the the drums came next and then you know i knew it needed vocals and 100 percent, i knew if my singing wasn't done it, you know i wasn't gonna do it any kind of justice and i i already knew actually when i had it i was like i know who's gonna sound amazing on this so i wasn't myself wasn't even in consideration and i was thinking of myla so um i knew that he would understand the assignment and he would be able to bring to light the idea that i had so we would build out um build out the song him and me uh him a valley and myself um they all came over and they built out the song and we kind of built it part by part, piece by piece. So it was like um, the intro kind of, you know, adding some trinkets later, like, you know, but um, yeah, part by part, starting with, you know, the intro, what's the best way to really get people's attention to the drop, how does the drop got to sound? And then building out, you know, the verse and the chorus, the hook, the bridge. Um, so really going step by step. And when you work with people who enjoy, you know, making music and good music then it's not a problem everybody sinks their teeth in and i think the flow just kind of came naturally because we're all uh, well i'm definitely older than all these guys but um we're we're around the same age so they can remember that time and, you know hello just kind of made sense I, I mean honestly i think that's why av a valley even said it because it was my the beat way the beat hits and way my hit and he gave there was no phone rings in the original track the original track had no phone, the phone ring and pickup. So when he said that, that just sparked that whole idea. And I was like, remind me of like, uh, y'all, I don't know if these guys remember, but Clarissa explains it yep. all. Yep. Those early Nickelodeon Johns, um, where the, you know, the intros be mad flavor for the early 90s. Yeah, with the, the colors. Yeah, with the colors, Nickelodeon colors or something, but they just gave me that vibe. But yeah, that was the inspiration in short, man. And, yeah, it was, it was, we, we executed, everybody did their part. And it was a blast. So what do we want people to feel when they hear this song? Okay. Um, ooh, that's a good question. Can I kick this one off and then bounce it off to y'all? All right, bet. Um, for myself, uh, this is like a really one of the first uh, tracks, um, like house house five tracks that I've, that I've made. Uh, I've always been a fan of tracks like these. I've always wanted to rap and uh, and and write lyrics and stuff for and work on a pro on a on a track like this. So when the opportunity came, I was like, "Yo, I finally get to like be a part of that feeling that people get when they go out and they're trying to get they want to get they want to get pumped up, you know, and just you know and just really have a good time, dance around and stuff like that." Like, um, and I just kind of that's what I want people to feel just enjoyment and 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 happiness because that's what we felt when we made this track um i'm pretty sure that um myowa and crazy uh, i will have to say that's one thing when i met myowa we first went out and we got like because i'm a vegetarian uh and myowa was like yo look, we was like let's go get food he was like i know this really really awesome like vegan restaurant we go to the vegan restaurant for the first time I, and like, you know, me and Ma were chilling. We met a couple of times and we cool and we chilling. You know, we having great conversation. I don't know what happened if a lightning bolt struck from the heavens and hit me with the singing power. This dude started singing in the middle of the restaurant. Everybody got quiet. Everybody got quiet. And then they just vibe with him. And then he just stopped and then everybody just continued. And I was just like, this just happened. Wow. I literally don't remember that at all. <laughs> I remember because I was. Hello, so you. Ladies, very much. So good energy. So calm. Good mind. Or get to the kid. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming down. I appreciate it. Yo, hello drops two twenty five twenty two. That's Friday, depending on which coast drum, but I'm pretty sure it's still Friday. Um, but yes, thank you guys so much um, for the support you've given so far. Um, Pre-save links are in bio. Um, uh, yeah, and thank you. Bless that man.
when love when we are want hello into, into the <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I see is you and my baby Another day, another day. Now you see how the tree is. This is how we get down when we get crazy.